Good evening, Livia Regano with tonight's weather. All quiet on the weather front since the southeasterly push through yesterday, but tall, voluminous clouds have already started building in preparation for the next run of stormy afternoons starting this Wednesday. Yesterday's storms brought 57 millimetres to Monto and Saratotas had 39 mils. On the coast, we got 32 mils in the town of 1770 and Abercorn had 9 mils. Daytime temperatures are back to normal now, even below average for some stations, but nights remain very warm and that trend will continue. Let's look at the satellite loop now. On the coastal side of Queensland, it's fairly quiet as we've seen. A few little random showers and storms popping up, just isolated. But further inland, of course, it's a lot more widespread. That's where the surface trough is, as you'll see in a moment. And in fact, uh, warnings have been issued for some severe storms, just generally in that central west uh, coming into the southern highlands area. Now, on today's chart, on the surface, we have a weak high or moderate sized high in the southern Tasman Sea. And that's responsible for the slightly cooler southeast winds that pushed through later in the weekend, uh, yesterday in fact, um, although they haven't really quite reached the northern tropics, not to the extent that they have in the south. So although it's a little bit cooler here, it's still very humid in the north. And there's that inland trough that's, uh, uh, that's spawning those storms. Tomorrow's chart, the inland trough moves a little bit further east, enough for the afternoon storms to start encroaching upon eastern districts. We may see some of them later in the evening. And then on the outlook chart, we have an upper level trough coming into alignment with that system, and that'll start a long run of stormy afternoons right through eastern and northern Queensland. Now, the latest from the Weather Bureau, the boating forecast for Harvey Bay waters, southeast to east winds, 10 to 15 knots tomorrow and Wednesday, and then on Thursday, a straight northerly 10 to 15 knots. Gowrie offshore waters, much the same, southeast 10 to 15 tomorrow, seas below a metre, just 10 knots of onshore wind on Wednesday, and then a northwest to northeasterly 10 to 15 knots for Thursday. King tides are only just now peaking after Saturday's new moon and tomorrow's high tide will again be huge, so don't expect to see much beach from mid-morning to early afternoon. The Wide Bay Burner District, a 40% chance of showers tomorrow and there could be storms, most likely in the afternoon and inland. Bundaberg, 20 up to 30 degrees, 30 also for Gimby, Harvey Bay and Maryborough as well. And looking ahead for Bundaberg, Thursday, Friday is our best chance of rain, mainly in the form of showers and thunderstorms, easing over the weekend. Nights will be warm and humidity oppressive. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Pleasure to have your company as always. Uh, thank you also for watching Seven Local Weather. I'll be back tomorrow with more on the latest. Hope you can join me then. Now it's back to the team. Yeah, good on you, Liv. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for your company. And don't forget, if you'd like to watch our news again, you can catch up on our 7 Plus app or our page, 7news.com.au. Otherwise, see you tomorrow night. Good night.